help support your Tucson Terrakions in the UCL and pick up a t-shirt today. Link is on the screen and in the description. YouTube, that one eight two year back again. Oh, once again, and today, today we're back for another episode of our Pokemon Conquest Let's Play here on the channel. And before the cutscene starts again, let's hit continue. Uh, by the way, in the last episode, you guys, we finished off our first post game storyline, which was Hideyoshi's storyline. And today, we need to choose a new one. Apparently, Nadei's story teaches them a lesson has been unlocked. Hanbei's story, the reluctant genius, has been unlocked. And there's a whole lot more stories that have been fucking unlocked so if you guys are hyped for today's episode of pokemon conquest and of course if you're a proud member of the happy nation make sure you smash that like button down below for us because you already know your support is greatly appreciated and of course to see if we can't break our goal of a powerful 3500 likes for the start of a new post game storyline now the issue that we had in the last episode was that we discovered there are actually a metric buttfuck ton which I think converts to 37, I think, total stories in the post game. And if we try and do all 37 stories, it's going to take us forever. Because there are a lot of storylines, as you can see. And honestly, it wouldn't be so bad if they were all relatively different. But really, the way that they break down the post game storyline is that there'll be there's there's like a total of like eight or nine different what do, I, what do I say, like, themes or, like, uh, objectives, there you go, there's, like, eight or nine total different objectives, but there's, like, four or five different warlords that all do the exact same objective, like, for example, there's the Unite All of Ransai, which is what we do with Hideyoshi, where you have to go and conquer all 17 kingdoms, while there's, like, four or five other warlords in the postgame who have the exact same storyline, you know, there's one that's, like, uh, obtain a hundred Pokemon in your army, there's one that's like, uh, recruit 40 warriors in your army. There's, there's a whole bunch of different ones. Like, I, I have the list pulled up right here. I'll just, I'll just read it off for you guys. There's the, uh, Legend of Ransai, which is the original one. Then there's the Unite Ransai stories. There's Hideyoshi, Yoshihiro, Masamune, Nobunaga, which, actually, I wouldn't mind doing Nobunaga because I would love to play as Nobunaga. So that's one that I would actually wouldn't mind doing again. But all four of those are the exact same thing. You just start off and you want to conquer Ransai, which is, we've already done it twice now in our Let's Play. We did it once in the main storyline and once as Hideyoshi. Then there's the Junior Warlord storylines. That's Yukimaru, uh, Hanbei, uh, Tarak Tarakatsu, Kanasugu, M uh, Munashige, <laughs> Gracia, and Magoichi, uh, uh, Okuni. You know, there it's it's there. There's the exact same way. They just want to unite all of Ransai as well, but you're a Junior Warlord instead. So it's, the storyline's a tad bit different, but still, it's conquer 17 kingdoms. We're good to go. Collect 100 Pokemon stories. Uh, it's Ayasu, Kanbei, Motonari, and Keiji. You just have to go and collect a total of 100 or more part of Pokemon for all your warriors, or like throughout all your warriors in your army. Those are those four. Then there's the Recruit 40 Warriors. There's a Yuji Yasu and Yoshimoto, where you just want to collect or recruit 40 warriors for your entire army. Then there's, Ke there's actually, this is kind of cool. There's Kenshin versus Shingen stories. You get to play as Kenshin, and you get to play as Shingen, because apparently they're arch enemies, which is why their two kingdoms are right next to each other on the map. But again, it's, uh, well no, the objective is to be the first to win five battles. So I, honestly, that wouldn't be too bad. I wouldn't mind doing those. Honestly, I wouldn't mind playing uh, through both of them. Since there's only the first to win five battles, you could do that in two or three episodes, and boom, you're done with that storyline. Um, but again, all 17 kingdoms of Ransai are included. You just don't have to conquer all 17. Uh, then there's Ransai's Greatest Beauty Stories, and that's Ginchio, Aya, No, Oichi, Aina, Kai, Ranmaru. You know, it's all the exact same thing. You just play as seven different people doing it over and over again. Um, and then there's Defeat Nobunaga, which is pretty much what we had in the main storyline, but that's uh, Mitsuhide and Motochika. There's Ninja Stories, where it's Kotaru, Nene, Hanzo, and Kunoichi. They all do the exact same thing. Not worth fighting over stories. Mitsunari, Kiyomasa, Masanori. You know, let's, let's, you guys, you guys get what I'm saying. Like I've gone through everything now, and it's just a few different objectives spread out across five or six different people each time, and that's the post game of Conquest. So I think we're gonna try and do is we're gonna try and do one of each, and um, actually, well, no, we're gonna try and do one of each, and if there ends up being any duplicates, because the final story to unlock in the game. It's called the Two Heroes of Ransai. 
and it's basically the original story mode just on super hard difficulty like all the warriors uh, all the warlords are starting out at rank 2 some of them already have legendary pokemon you know it's just super duper hard so it would be cool to see you know the original game all over again but on a harder scale harder difficult it's like challenge mode so i wouldn't mind doing that but the only way you can do that is if you um you have to clear all the stories for the senior warlords so for some of those uh, i i have to go through the list again and be 100 percent sure that oh hey we've got all the senior warlords missions down pat and yada 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 so i don't know it's a lot it's a lot of planning it's a lot of preparation i just wanted you guys to be in the loop and understand how much there actually is to the post game and what it entails it's a lot of monotonous repetitive stuff over and over and over again so it really irks my OCD that we're not going to include it all and I kind of kind of kind of regret starting the post game to begin with I never thought it would be this long like everyone told me it was long but I didn't think it was gonna be this long I would rather just have like a nice and neat LP where it's just boom there's the story and you're done but now we have all this in the post game to handle so I think we're gonna try and do one of each storyline and we're gonna make sure to get all the senior warlords quests done so we can unlock the final storyline and once we finish that that'll be the end of the LP so who knows how many more episodes that's gonna take but I think without any further ado we're gonna go ahead I kind of want to start Kotaro because he has a Dano and we didn't get to see much of Kotaro in the in the uh, main storyline either. So a shroud of darkness, Kotaro takes on the challenge of proving himself the greatest ninja, plunging Ransai into profound darkness in the process. Let's do it, nigga. Let's do it. Let's do it, nigga. Let's do it. Let's do it, nigga. Let's do it. People with the ability to communicate with Pokemon refer to using the title of warrior. Among these warriors were a group mainly hailing from the kingdoms of Viperia and Yaksha for whom the protection of their lords was their only goal. These loyal warriors were known as ninjas. Ninja. These uh, three such ninjas, Kotaro, Hanzo, and Konoichi, were always bickering about their role in society. And today was no exception. Ooh. Pathetic. So much talk and so little knowledge. Oh, not again! I don't, I don't know Nene's voice. You can't keep arguing like this all the time. Now just give me a minute. Excitable as ever. Alright, I'm back. Now I've borrowed some nearby castles so we can settle this once and for all. So let's arguing and more battling, alright? I've never even seen Kanoichi before. This this chick looks like a Pidgeotto, god damn it. Are we really gonna do this? I've never heard of Hanzo either. Huh, this will be enjoyable. Alright, now only use your poison type, ghost type, and dark type Pokemon, just like a ninja should. And, we need one more type, so dragon will do just fine. Dino. I'll be taking part two, of course. You believe you have a chance against me? Ha. Huh. Very well, I shall humor you. Okay then, big dog. My goodness. Conquer eight kingdoms. Okay, so instead of all 17 in this storyline, we're doing just eight. And it's focused around these eight on the side on the eastern coast of um, Ransai. Okay, so let's see what we got going on here. Who should we attack first? Who should we try and conquer first? That's the question. That's the question. Uh, because I want to see where are these where we quick. So that's 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 Nene. Watch me whip and watch me Nene and watch me whip whip and watch me Nene. Why me do it? Okay, so that's them right there. Um, I don't know where Hanzo is at. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. There's a trainer with a Ghastly. There's two trainers with Ghastlies. I wonder if either one of them, four trainers with Ghastlies. I wonder if any of them are the ones that are supposed to link with, uh... Because apparently I could get the, the Ghastly Gengar perfect trainer in the last storyline and I missed it. I'm sorry. I think what I'm going to do this time around is I'm going to do a little bit more preparation before we start attacking. So I'm going to go ahead. Can we recruit Mr. Beedrill Man? I want to see if we can recruit Mr. Beedrill Man here. We're going to go in, and we're going to try. Let's have some fun. Because one thing that we didn't do last time, we didn't build up our armies, we didn't recruit enough people, so if it's going to be us against the world, or us against eight kingdoms, look at little Dino! Oh, he's so adorable! He's so adorable! He's so adorable! Um, I don't actually know who our quote-unquote squad is right now squad, squad. I don't really know who we're gonna be using as our primary fighting force I guess it's us and these two ninjas for right now 
Ninja, 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 ninja. I'm just worried about getting this B drill, nigga. That's all. Twin needle. Vanguard. That hurt. That hurt. Please stop that. I would appreciate that if you would stop that. Don't attack my Dano. One damage. Nigga, use Garbo. Use the Garbo. Oh, wait. I can just body you real quick. Like, catch this word. Well, if it lands. If it lands, of course, I was going to say, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. Wait, wait, wait. Actually, can I go up to here? There we go. I want to attack this Beedrill. Urgh! Lower your accuracy. Lower your accuracy. There we go. 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 Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Wait, what's your warrior ability? Shout. Don't need that, Shimoyama. Shimoyama, we don't need that at all. Oh! Okay, we killed him. He said we're magnificent. That, that, whatchamacallit. Oh, it doesn't matter. We're Dragon Rage. Homeboy, I was gonna say, he's gonna kill our goddamn Pawnier. That's a no good. That's a no good. That's a no good. Oh, Lord Kodaro, I have let you down. Ninja, 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 ninja. Moxie, this nigga got Moxie. Hold up. This is not good. Can you stop lowering everyone's accuracy? You fucking fuckboy. For real. I just want to get the Beedrill on the squad. Squad, squad. I just want to get the Beedrill on the squad so we have somebody that's left over in the kingdom after we go and battle niggas. Oh, uh, this probably isn't a good idea. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna move right here. It's probably not a good idea for us to be lined up like that, especially after you already got a moxie boost. It's not that good of an idea. No, 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 no. I was gonna say, is he gonna is he gonna try to attack the Dano? Oh I missed! Oh I love it! Oh I love it! That intimidate drop though. Do I get the gold? I'm gonna pass up on the gold right now that's not our objective our objective is not to get gold but yo can we just point out how we have a day we have a day on the squad. Squad, squad, squad that's awesome and mr. Beedrill can be recruited because we killed him with a super effective move super effective okay I want to recruit you bruh oh wait no yes yes Jube 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 welcome to the squad Jube Jube Jube. Uh, again, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know exactly. I mean, I guess this is going to be our main fighting force. I guess it has to be because that's all we have for right now. So, question is, are they going to attack us? Are they going to attack us? They didn't. They did not actually attack us. Um, I kind of want to... I kind of want to get one more person. Whoa! That's a lot of people in the cave. Giggity goddamn. Uh, let's go in here. I'm sorry. I know you guys want to see us, like, take on niggas and shit and whatnot, but there's a lot of people in this cave we can recruit, and that means that we'll leave a few people behind as well. So let's see what we can do here. We're going to throw them into oblivion, apparently. Let's see if we can't make quick work here. I'm just happy because the Beedrill is super effective on the Spirit Tomb here. So we need to get little Dano over here to the Axew so we could scoop up Mr. Axew as well. Okay, so let's see here. Mr. Beedrill. Wait, what, is the, what does the Axew have? Dragon Rage. Okay, then. That's not fun. Where can the Axew go? Uh, I kind of want to just hold off for now. I want to see where they're going to go. I kind of want to see where they're going to go. If I'm just being honest. That's really all I want to do. I just want to see what direction they're going to go in. Because he can hit me. I can move up to here. I think. I think that's as far as I can go for right now. I just want to see where they're going first before I make any moves. What's up, Spiritune? Spiritune, nigga. Spirit bitch. How you doing, nigga? You about to be on the scheme. You about to be on the, on the scheme. You about to be on the team. Squad up. We recruit niggas right now. Yo, here we go. We got this, Dano. We got this, Dano. We got this, Dano. Come on now. Come on now. Knock on wood. You got this. 
You got this. Jang Jang getting paid over here. Jang Jang getting paid over here. Thursday, baby, bring it over here. Okay, I don't want B drill all up in that business right there. God damn it. B drill. B drill. I guess for what it's worth, we can get a chance to flinch. Whoosh, whoosh. There we go on that. Oh, twenty hits. Oh, twenty needle hits. Oh, I didn't realize I could hit. There it is. There it is. There it is. B drill twin needle. Jube jube. My goodness. I was gonna say I forgot that it's. Uh, we can actually hit from there. Okay. So we're good for right now. These niggas can just slide on over here. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. So it's just the. Uh, Come on with this interference bullshit. It's just the spirit tomb we're worried about right now. Oh my god. Oh wow. That one actually wasn't bad. I see what you did there. So the Scraggy can hit us as well. He can't do shit though. He ain't got no fighting type moves. Not very effective. Oh, what a bitch. What a wee little bitch. Okay, Mr. Dano. You're good to go and scoop up that goal. And you're good to come up here and actually attack. And get gold at the same damn time. Look at that! Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That was great. That was great. That was great. Pro please. Pro please. Pro please. Um, I want to stay here. Actually, no, I don't want to stay there. I want to move you to here. JK, don't want to do that either. Um, no, you know what? I'm gonna move you up here to wait. Wisdom orb. And move you down here to attack. I was gonna say I could stay on the on the uh, that, 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 the piece of land that's across from the water there to the left of the spear tomb. Which honestly probably wouldn't have been that bad, but oh well. It is what it is. If anything, this is even better because we can mud slap right now and then turn around and insurance it. I know, you low you lower his attack, god damn it. Oh, are you kidding me? Can Beedro get to it? Beedro can't get to it. God damn it. Little Dano. Dano! Da 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 Actually, we could just twin it with this bitch right now. Yo, Beedro, actually, Beedro is not that bad so far in the game. I don't know how well, I don't know how well twin needle is going to work out for us in the future. You know what I mean? But for right now, it's not bad. It's really not bad. We can school all three of them, too. So I think these last two months that we, actually, is there a time limit? I don't know if there's a time limit. Wait, we can't recruit all of them, can we? Our army! Holy! Yo, I'm an idiot! I didn't even realize that this entire time! Yo, I didn't even realize that! Yo! I didn't even realize that at first. Okay, that's even better! That means we have two more! I bet you there was somebody that was screaming and yelling at me in the comment section saying. Oh my god, oh my god, Nappy, what's wrong with you? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? Don't you know that that's your own castle? God damn, I'm an idiot. I swear I'm an idiot sometimes. I didn't think about it. I didn't think that we already owned another kingdom. I mean, there's never been a storyline where we had the chance to do that, so you can't blame me. Okay, so we, our army is pretty... I don't want to say it's pretty formidable right now, but it's a decent size. I think I want to start off with just a squad of three. So up until this point on a layout, I think we'll just have Kotaru and Dano, and we're going to put together a squad of three for right now. And I think what I want to do, if we're battling mostly Poison and... I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I think I'm going to scoop up Dano, Beedrill, and I'm kind of tempted to scoop up that Sneasel as well. Dano, Beedrill, Sneasel, and... I kind of want the ground type, the 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 sand sand dial, sand dial, sand dial. Okay, so what I think I'm gonna do, what I think I'm gonna do, we're gonna move some armies around here. We're gonna move some armies around here. We're gonna move. We're going to march. You down to here, and then we're gonna march. You. 
you, and you, up to here. And then we're gonna march you and you, even though I would not mind using a Haxorus down to here. So we should have a squad of five down here, right? That's in reserves. We got a squad of five down here that's in reserves. It's already stronger than everybody else that's here. Right? Well, it is 236, the other highest one. Yeah, so we're good there, and we're 270. That This is going to be our main fighting force right here. Kotaru with the Dano. We have two ninjas with uh, a Sandile and a, and a Sneasel. And then we have Jubei, Jubei, Jubei with Beedrill. I think we're gonna just gonna go ahead and invade Viperia right here, right now. Because why the fuck not? Why the fuck not? We might need to do a little more. Oh, I feel like we should do a little more. It scares me. It scares me. It scares me. I might try and do a little more. Um, what you call it? Calling reinforcements. You give the goddamn. Oh no, we don't want. We don't want reinforcements. Yes, cancel calling reinforcements. Let's go against Viperia, goddamn it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's. Go, let a let's go. I said let's go, let a let's go. I said let's go, let a let's go. There we go. I'm just trying to think like strategically. Like I want to make sure we have warriors and like units left behind in our kingdoms. And even though we did all that, we did those two battles, we still have our kingdom of cracks, but it's empty. So it's just like well, that was a waste. That was a waste. Let me see if I move my my, my camera over. Okay, so let's see what we got here. We're back here in the poison type kingdom of look at the little toxic croak. Oh, all the storm silver references. I love them. I love them. I love them. Alright, so we just gotta claim all banners. We're good, we're good, we're good. We can do this. We've done this many times. And look at our new squad. Squad up! Squad up! Squad up though! Squad up! Let's go. Let's fucking go. Okay, so let's see what we got here. We got uh do you have a wing attack? You have a poison type move. You have wing attack. Okay. I think I'm gonna send Sneasel through this here a door for Fainted type. We don't even have an Ice type move. Come on. I thought you're gonna have an Ice type move. That would be great. Great. I'm gonna send you that way. I'm gonna send you this way as well. I'm gonna send these two this way. Go through the door. Because I'm just afraid that the Zubat is going to go this way. It's just, it's kind of scary. Because I'm trying to think, like, how do I want to split them up? Like, A team, B team type of thing. How do I want to split them up? And it all comes down to where the Zubat goes and where the Axew goes. Because the Dragon Rage is still going to hurt Dano. Dragon Rage is going to one-shot Dano. And I thought we were going to have an Ice type move on Sneasel. So we can, uh, oh shit. He's trying to fuck with a real nigga? He's trying to fuck with a real nigga. Nigga, you're a poison type. I'm going to hit you with this powerful Mud Slap. This powerful, powerful Mud Slap. Hello. Look at this! Look at this! Look at this! Look at this! And we have Intimidate. I kind of wish we had Moxie though. I don't know. They're both great abilities. They're both great abilities. And we are Bug Poison, so that means we can't stay on top of the door. We can't block the door from him. But I will gladly Twin Needle the fuck out of you for whatever damage it's worth. And it hits twice because it's Twin Needle. And we got a crit too. Not bad. Good job, team. Get ready for the next round. Okay, so we're good there. We're good there. We're good there. We're good there. And it actually can't reach us just yet. So we're good. We're good. We're good. We got we got a banner first. We got a banner first. What you gonna do, Nene? Now watch me whip and watch me. Da -da -da. Now watch me whip, whip and watch me. Da -da 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 -da. And he's gonna go back. She's gonna go back to the fucking door. Are you kidding me? Oh, you sneaky. Mm. Yeah, you better get out of here. You better get out of here because you know you about to die. You know you about to die. You know you about to die. Not a bad battle at all, is it, Dano? Let's stir things up as best we can. Okay, not good shit. <laughs> as best we fucking can. Okay, so I think the best place for me right now, because the farthest thing goes right here, and Dragon Rage hits two squares, so I can go up to here. So I can move up to here, and the and the actually can't hit me, unless he can now magically up his range or some shit like that, which would suck. I'm just gonna say that would suck. So to be honest with you guys, that would really suck. <laughs> okay, so we should be good. We should be good. We got Beedrill coming through. She know Beedrill. And I'm just going to leave you right here for right now, to be honest. I mean, I really don't have any reason to move you. Because, like I said, the Dragon Rage can hit. And Dragon Rage will kill both of us. Because our Mons aren't strong enough yet to take those hits. To take those hits. 
And Zubat's coming this way. Okay. Okay, okay. NIGGA! I ain't playing these games with you! I ain't playing these motherfucking games with you! Attack this bitch! That's not gonna be enough. Vanguard? What does Vanguard do? We'd have to get a crit. I was gonna say, we'd have to get a crit right now. What does Vanguard do? Can I see? I can't... No, 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 no. Hit the wrong button. Hit the wrong button. I can't see once we already use them. God damn it. Can I... Let's look at some info. Can we, can we find out right now? In battle? What does Vanguard do, though? His specialty is Steel and Psychic, and he's got a Beedrill. Okay, Jubei, good job for you, buddy. I thought somebody said before there was a... We had a chance to see something. I don't know, it doesn't tell us what the ability does. I don't know. I, I, whatever, 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 whatever. I'll figure it out. I could Mud Slap right now. Let's see how much Mud Slap will do to our own Beedrill. Only 5%. I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna risk it. It's only 5%. Beedrill can take it. It was only four, and down goes that sneaky ass Toxicroak. God damn it! Oh, we lowered our own accuracy. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I'm a dummy. I'm stupid. I'm a dummy. I'm stupid. I'm a dummy. I don't think that. Oh, 77%. Come on, Dano, you can do this. Yeah! I was gonna say I don't think they're gonna move the Axe you off. Um, I don't think they're gonna move the Axe you off the flag. Ah, oh, I can't hit you from there. No! Please don't body us. Please don't body us. Please don't body body. There we go. Alright, little Dano. It's your time to shine. It's your time to shine, little Dano. It's your time to shine, little Dano. It's your time to shine, little Dano. A Dano. Time to shine, little Dano. I love Dano so much. He's so awesome. He's so awesome. I'll, if I could have a Pokemon IRL, it would be Dano. I love Dano. With all my little nappy heart. Oh, we still have to claim the banners. Oops. Let's go ahead and put you on here. And uh, let's go ahead and move you. Let's go ahead and have you go through this door. Because this will put you in the next room, right? Whoop. Whoop. There it is. You can scoop that up. Good, good job. Good job, team. Get ready for the next round. Okay, so we're good there. I don't want anyone getting poisoned. But I kind of want that gold. I love gold. I'm going to have you go through this door. Since you're a poison type yourself. Why does it put you out all the way back there? Jiminy Cricket. Let's have you come down here. Because again, I don't want anyone poisoned. I don't give a damn, Knuckle. I don't want nobody getting poisoned. We might have to We might have to end up sacrificing somebody. So, well, not sacrificing someone, but someone might have to end up getting poisoned. Oh, we shall see. Oh, we shall see. Oh, we shall see. Yeah, because Beedro can't even make it down here. Uh, can Weavile... Weavile can't get all the way over there. What's your warrior ability? All moves are guaranteed to... Ooh! That's one hell of a warrior ability! Oh my goodness. Increases range, you say? Okay. I apologize, little Dano. I don't mean to, to get you poisoned like this. But I just want to scoop this gold before it's too late. I'm sorry. I really am. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but uh, he can't even get to the goddamn flag. God damn it. It's all right, you guys. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Don't worry, Dano. Don't worry. We have the flag. Victory is ours. Victory is ours. Victory is ours. We have the flag. We're good to go. Whew. Okay, so we've taken over our first kingdom. And now we have three. <laughs> I thought we only had one, but now we have three. All right, I actually like our our little crackpot team we just put together there, and they retreated to Avia like the scrub it up dubs they are. Yeah, watch. I feel like they're gonna attack Cragsburg. They're going to attack Cragsburg. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna say yes. Let's save our progress right now. Let's save our progress right now. Damn, Evie, you're taking forever to save the goddamn game. Save the progress right now, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to move our uh, our secondary army from Yaksha down here, up here to Cragsburg, because there's no reason for them to sit down there because they can't be invaded. They can't be invaded down here. As long as we uh, have Viperia and Cragsburg in our control, 
they can't invade us and we're good to go. So, what was our objective again? Conquer eight kingdoms. So we have three down. There's one, two, three, four, five remaining. This is a short ass storyline. All the ninja stories are like this. So, either way, uh, I just uh, we might finish this in two or three episodes. You never know, god damn it. But we're gonna go ahead and wrap up today's episode of Conquest right here. If you guys did enjoy, and of course if you have a proud member of the Nappy Nation, make sure you smash that like button down below for us, because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. And let's see if we can't break our goal of power of 3,500 likes on today's episode. But with that, I'm gonna get about. Thank you all once again for your support, and thank you for checking out the video. Get on me to that 182. I'm out.